boards. He is a, he is an edge. I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's wearing sunglasses while he plays. Like I, I know that's his shtick. It's a shtick. But here we go. Edge Lord Wolf coming out to fight off against. Now notice he actually hasn't even thrown a single laser yet. Uh, most wolves would have already thrown it in like five seconds. <laughs> It could just be him trying to like not not adapt, but just like start to like feel out the opponent, right? Yeah. Because no, I yeah, don't think he's so. ever fought against Jen. Uh in tournament anyway. Yeah, well yeah, not in this game. Yeah. Oh. And that oh. was a very bad spot. Jen missing the downers. This is his time to shine. So in the Wolf versus Palutena matchup, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a lot of dark blues trying to like close that gap and get in front of Palutena's face. Mm -hmm. Especially because oh wow. Oh, Especially because of Pal because Palutena's yeah. aerials are so good in this game, you can't give her the space that she that she wants. And another reason why oh god, he gets the back, back air does not play around. I mean that shield he just smacks the crap out yeah, of you. No, but it still it still has the same Smash Four properties I believe where it's uh, it's invulnerable. Now there is a uh, reason why Dark Blues might not be using the laser in this matchup because Auto Reddick oh sorry the barrier. She has the ability to reflect the projectile right back at Wolf. So that could she be can. a reason why yeah. he's not committing to that very strong neutral tool. Now, the only thing is, like, you know, it is it is pretty slow. Uh, the Palutena's Reflect still isn't that great. So it's it's something it's something to keep note of. Um, all right, you know, just playing neutral right now. Jen playing very, very whiff and punish against, against him. He jumps in there. Oh, Auto Reticle catching the anti-air. Jen's about to take away his oh, third shot, catches wow. the side B with a down tilt. Jen, Jen is leveling up, dude. He just he won the gauntlet yesterday down in uh, Brooklyn and coming back into this tournament, and he is connecting neutral air to after neutral air, comboing the crap out of Dark Blue, putting on a neat 37 damage. All right, so Dark Blue's just waiting and just forward smashing him. All right. I was like, little forward dancing. smash in this game. He just, like, decks you in the face, backing off a bit. Try to go for a fake out, either catches him with the uppie or go for a trump afterwards. Possibly follow up with the backer, but the things are looking a little bleak. Very hungry for the kill. He's almost fishing for it at this point. I mean, at I mean, at this point, you're at 60% with one stock. This is where uh, this is where things get dicey. This is where you need you need to steal that stock soon. I'm surprised he didn't go for the down smash. Oh, Jen getting the parry. Bye. No follow ups afterwards, but at least he saved the shield a bit. Mm -hmm. Notice how Jen actually down through and then he short hop back here, knowing that he wasn't going to get it, but positioning himself for what Wolf would do next. That was a crazy up tilt, because I really don't see Jen actually just do that approach with an up tilt. But I guess he just knew that Dark Blues was going to go for a jump. And Dark Blues is sitting at 90, 107%, has him off stage. He was throwing out the explosive flame just in case he got a little bit too antsy with his side B. Catches hey, the spike. That I mean, the recovery is just a you little see, exploitive. I'm seeing a lot of spikes in this game, and I like it. Hmm? I mean, there's a lot of meteors, man. Like, there are a lot of moves in this game. I like it. They, they, there's so many spikes in this game that some of them turn into grounded moves, you know, like uh, King K. Rule, Inkling, Word. Rob, Game & Watch. Like, they all got some grounded stuff going for them. Mm. So. All right, so do you think that we're going to see a switch from Dark Blues now? Uh, potentially. Uh, the thing is, I really don't see him switching to Richter in this matchup, just based solely on the fact that he doesn't want to be – he's not using projectiles with Wolf. I don't see him using projectiles with Richter, which is kind of like their whole game plan. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, um, you know, if I'm Dark Blues and if, you know, someone else uses Richter – on stream against my opponent, I'm gonna want to keep a close eye on that match. Mm. Now, Helper almost beat Jen with you know when he switched to Richter. Uh, that's something to take note of. I mean, yes. you know, Helper, Helper was giving him hands. I'm actually shocked by how far Helper made it in bragging. He was playing out of his mind. But let's see yeah, if Helper uh, was doing well. Helper was doing really well. Let's see if Dark Blues can channel his inner Helper right here and get the help from Helper and move on to uh, this game. We're going. As you guys can tell, we're in New York City right now here in Forest Side. Probably the best looking stage for us, you know, so honestly. The, the Empire State Building right there? Yeah, my yeah. house, my apartment's right over there, the the closet. What stage is this? Foreside. Foreside? Yeah, the Earthbound stage from Melee. Oh, okay. Well, with the UFO. Yeah, can't you oh. tell by the flat iron building? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wow. He got that down. I mean, <laughs> I did not expect that. Like, that, that he just, like, he knew Joe was going to land right in front of him, had that down smash at the ready. Called out the air dodge. Again, air dodge is not the safest thing to go for in ultimate. No, no, no. Especially the directional ones. I yeah. mean, landing on platforms is nice, but it's uh, all... I'm surprised I didn't see a smash tuck. He goes down throw, try to get the follow-up. Was not true. Allowed Blues to be able to just kind of, like, delete the combo completely. Okay, Blues struggling. Oh, my gosh. Get that smacked is so by that strong. shield, dude. 
When Captain Palu throws her mighty shield, dog. <laughs> good right, call nice out. Anti -air. I mean, up to such a good call out for like, because Darkluz is being so jumpy. You know, he, he's he's staying airborne so much. Because Wolf gets a lot out of his aerials. Okay, Blues, trying to find his way back down to the ground. There we go. Okay, knowing that he can't really get a follow from that down throw, Ops is, Ops is just like, you know, take a step back and says, you know, what is Jen gonna do now? Let me position myself for, for what's gonna happen next. All right. Oh! He was trying to read the tech up. Too Normal late, get unfortunately. Hey, Jen, was thinking about getting that spike. Playing super safe around that shield. Dark Blues just opens him up completely with that dash attack. Good forward use of the forward tilt, giving him a lot of shield pressure. Actually backed him up a little bit, so Jen could not get a punish afterwards. And the thing is that, you know, uh, Blues' forward tilt is stale at this point, so it's Jen not going to kill just yet. And Blues has been doing a phenomenal job of just keeping Jen off the stage. You know, he's he's his his edge guards are insane right If now. he was just a little bit further oh, to the left. Oh, with this up B, you have to be careful of that. It sucks in terms of a recovery, but it's a great kill move. Now this is a prime example of Blues actually adapting with his uh, character and uh, with his player instead of just opting to switch characters, oh, believing in the wolf because he is actually starting to take this lead, but it could easily be cut short right here from this parry. Oh, all right, here we go. I guess he thought damage. it was going to be like a jump. Oh, big wait, punish! Actually waiting for that, nice. And yeah, that was a huge call out coming from Jen. Like very, very risky. Okay, yeah, going back and down smashing. How long are you going to hold that, bro? I know you can hold it for three seconds, but come on. There we go. All right, needy backer. Okay, Jen, one stock away from moving on to winner's finals, but Blues is not out of the woods just yet, man. We are here back. We are oh, basically... Oh, no! Okay, he's coming back. We're basically back at square one. Just waits oh, wow. for the Actually, simple grab. Actually, goes for the down throw. I'm surprised he didn't, uh, he didn't up throw. He could have got a follow through. Maybe just wanted the damage. The guaranteed damage, anyways. I hear you. Okay, pal oh, a little bit too far away. I was trying to cover multiple options with that forward tilt. Big punish. That dash attack was very risky. Okay, a lot of grabs coming out from Blues. Recognizing that Jen's holding on to shield a lot in the middle of neutral. Ooh. There he goes. The edge guard coming back out. Just a yeah, little, no. a hair too away from that forward tilt connecting. And that's the thing about Blues. His spacing on his uh, on what he's doing on the ledge is amazing. Oh, this is a bad spot for oh, Blues. No! He air dodges away. Save his double jump. Gets back onto the oh. stage. Avoids the spike. Counting his blessings air. with that back air. Blues is going to move on to game number three against Jen. But now, stage counter pick advantage, such a big deal in this game, is now in Jen's favor. Mm -hmm. Not only can he counter pick the stage, he can also counter pick the character if he so chooses. Jen does have a Belmont. Does he? If he if, I mean, he doesn't use him very often, but like he, I've seen him pull it out in a tournament before, so I, I don't see it happening, obviously. Like he's definitely staying, staying with the pal. I agree yeah, with that no, pick. I mean, the matches, the matches weren't so... The matches weren't like you know so like, right, insanely, but you know what one sided you know. Let's delete one of those platforms you know, make make it make it tr a double flat instead. Maybe, maybe make that stage a little bit bigger because that's exactly what we're gonna we're gonna get with Pokemon Stadium Two, and when Palu lands in okay, so Palutena wants neutral air, that is like her big money move. It, oh, yeah, it sure. tacks on so much damage, combos into itself, combos into other moves at mid percent. It can also be a kill move with that, the huge knockback of the final hit. So you're going to see that coming out a lot. I, I love just, just the neutral space in between, between both of these guys. Okay, going for that up tilt, catching him right, falling in front of him. Back in with the shield, explosive oh, flame on Kidup. Wow. Good patience. Delay. The, the beautiful delay by Dark Blues. He's like, you know, I, I, I think I'm fine down here. <laughs> he sees fire above him, dog. He doesn't want to even avoid that. Just kicks him into the ceiling. Right into the patootie. Oh. Bad spacing on Blues' part. Tries to get the follow up afterwards with a hair too late with that up smash. Okay, with that explosive flame, Jen has the ability to make that go either sh a short distance oh, or a far distance. Wow, but good catch with the downs, it's a fair. Yes, sir. Great at catching people on the ledge. It just pops them up so perfectly. It, it really does. And here comes the Nair train. Choo-choo. 
Into up air. Up air. Another up air. Make some air dodge. Yeah. All right. Blues with the aggressive landing. Understanding that he's like, you know what? I'm trapped. I got to get out of here. I need to hit him back instead of just taking it. He can right. a lot of these up airs. You see him racking up that damage. Yeah, well, wolf's arrows are super strong. You don't want to get hit by them. <laughs> okay. Dark Blues is chilling back. Get a little bit antsy with that neutral air. Oh, we got some lasers coming out too now. I mean, when to be when fair, it's out, laser it out. <laughs> to be fair, Blues has barely been going for those, so now would be like a good time to like, you know, start mixing it up and throwing it in there. See if General react accordingly. Oh god, the explosive flame put it in such a perfect position where like when it finally grew to its biggest size, it caught Dark Blues hanging on the ledge. Big punish for that up smash. Trying to get the two frame with that uh, tilt. Blues is hungry for an aerial. Good patience with Jen. Kind of like doing a suede wave landing there in place. Forces oh! the double jump. I don't know where he's going. Trying to mix up. I think he kind of like had to because the explosive flame was there. So he ended up using his double jump and there was a huge punish awaiting him. So he just I kind mean, of. If, you, if you're going to die like that, at least aim it towards them and, and hope. Yeah. You, hope to God there that, you, been like that a, you hit it. There might have been like some sort of panic you know? coming from if Blues. He, if he did hit that LB, Jen was dead. Like, yeah. This is definitely dead percent for that. Now he's at 158%, trying to get this huge punish. But Blues, Blues could easily still win this. Yeah, give him that forward throw. Not mixing up his DI just yet yeah. because he knows that he's not going to kill him just yet. Yeah. Well, the thing All is. Right, and here we go. Wolf wow, is not, not going to get a kill with a grab until super high percent. No, no, no. It's a, it's like. Like now-ish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's super high to me, dog. I don't know. I don't <laughs> like, know, man. In this game. People explode at 100. <laughs> the, yeah, in this game, you know, people, people are living to like. 200, yeah. 250. But you saw that, right? Yeah, he yeah, barely yeah. almost, he uh, almost yeah, survived yeah, yeah. that. I, that back throw, not the it's, strongest tool. It's all about, it's all about the, uh, that DI mix up, that's why. Because yeah. his back throw is really good. But because of the, uh, you know, you can't just like run behind them anymore. Yes. You can't just like, you have, you have to be able to just mix them up. And these guys got to be able to mix up right now because they're on their final stock. Stop. Stark blues that high percent. Jen looking to close this out. All right, falling there is such a good tool by Wolf. Oh, make some air dodge to the ground, and that's something you don't want to do in Smash 4. Smacks him with the shield, waits for the explosive flame. This is Blue's time to shine. He's running in there. Calls out the jump with a raw up smash. <laughs> Jen, read. you crazy bastard. The read. Too bad for you. Do this again. Too bad he just you. runs at me, dashes a bit, and he knew. The second that he committed that jump, he was like, you know what? This can catch that. I'm just going to take a little prey. The blue light's going to catch it. And it went up super high. And, you know, her prayers were answered. Even though she is technically the goddess. 